so yeah the pickup is loaded down with stuff I bought from the online auction from the Waco Independent School District Got all those vacuum cleaners I don't know what I was thinking when I bought so many vacuum cleaners but there you go yeah inside there some soda fountain soda machine yeah these are called Big Mac wait a sec I gotta unlock the pickup <laughs> key right here. I'm gonna unlock the pickup. Boom. Oh wait. Boom. You have to push it twice so the passenger side opens. <laughs> so Big Mac carburetor. Yeah. Brand new in the box. What this does I think adds the bubbles to your soda when it comes out the soda machine. I have no idea what they're worth. But I got these two two of them two carbonators McCann's Big Mac carbonator two of them plus those three racks right there I have no idea if the valves and the pumps and stuff on those racks are worth anything extra but yeah we'll see what these carbonators are worth but I don't know I paid like 66 bucks for the two carbonators and the three racks <laughs> vacuum cleaners <laughs> how about 13 13 auric auric extended life commercial vacuum cleaners for how much did i give for them uh i think i gave 50 51 dollars for the vacuum cleaners yeah, it's the truth. 13 vacuum cleaners, 51 bucks. I'm gonna have the cleanest house in Texas. So yeah, the goal right now, look, there's still some drink syrup in the tubes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to clean these up a bunch. Anyway, uh, yeah, the goal is to get everything out the pickup. I know it looks like blue skies. Look at that sun up there. Watch out. Ah! Anyway, uh, I got to get everything off the truck and undercover because even though there's blue skies now, it's supposed to rain tomorrow and the next day and the next day after that. So I got to get all this stuff off the truck. I have no idea what a bib syrup pump is worth, but I got like six of them on these carts. They gotta be worth something to resell for money. Bib syrup pump. I don't know. So yeah, it's not much of a backyard shed, but yeah, a little bit of rustiness. It keeps most of the weather off until I get uh, just trying to keep the rain off of everything. Yeah. So I got to get everything from the truck. Put a bunch of it in here. The more delicate stuff I'll go ahead and take in the house. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, each of the vacuum cleaners is an Auric, Auric, Auric Commercial XL. And yeah, they're used, a little beat up, but I got 13 of them for 60 bucks. So what are you going to do? You buy them, you resell them. They're a little worn, but I bet they still work. Let's try one out. There it is. Auric Commercial 
see if it's gonna work and no oh wait maybe I should look all the food bowls my my wife feeds the neighborhood cats okay now I got power let's see nothing well hmm maybe this one don't work some of them may not work okay Hmm. Okay, Auric XL commercial. Let's see if you'll work. Get you plugged in over there. My wife feeds the neighborhood cats. That's and she gives them a bunch of blankets to lay down on. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this one's running. <laughs> so one out of 13 is running i guess that's pretty good odds yeah there they are over there okay so there's 13 vacuum cleaners and back there are the three soda drink stand carts <laughs> yeah safely in and out of the weather all right, next project. Okay, so the soda machine racks and the vacuum cleaners are out of the back of the pickup. Next project. This lot was like a whole bunch of coffee crafts. Got like 30 of these. I don't know. I don't know what they sell for. But yeah. They're all brand new, never used. And every one of them's got the orange top, which I've always heard that the orange top stood for decaffeinated. So, I don't know. Decaffeinated. If you need a decaffeinated. Uh, coffee carafe bloom fill bloom fill I don't know there's the regular brown see regular coffee should have a brown top and decaffeinated the orange top and I've got tons of orange tops i am probably got 30 orange tops and maybe 6 Brown tops so all right time to get them unloaded so yeah these are baker scales <laughs> why did I buy baker scales well I don't know this one recently sold on eBay for like 160 bucks that one about the same these vintage ones They've sold recently for about a hundred and forty. Get two of those. Get two of the hundred and sixty dollar ones. And these pillows. Can you see that? Pillow pillows. I don't know how do you say that. Here's two more. Pillows pillows. These biker scales sell for. They're pretty dirty. They sell for about $60, $70 a piece. And the price I'm quoting does not include shipping, so customer pays for shipping. Some of them have weights you put on one side and then you put your bread dough on the other and measure it all out. That was my big purchase. I spent 205 for the scales. But, yeah, one of these Edlins will come close to paying for the whole lot. And then there's six more to sell after that. So, I think that was a pretty good purchase. Okay, also with the uh, coffee crafts I showed, these were on that same pallet. I bought the pallet for 
Let's see. Uh, palette of coffee mugs, utensils, and knives. Okay, 36 bucks. Of course, there's a 10% buyer's fee. The tax down here, I do have a Texas tax ID, so that'll get knocked off later. So, everything was less than $400. Anyway, these are brand new. These blades have never been used. These are commercial... Uh, they're called Robot Coop, and they work with professional choppers for big commercial food processing. And I got eight of those, and you can look them up, but these are pretty darn close to a $50 bill a piece. Well, it's eight times fifty dollars so yeah just these blades will pay for everything I bought these scales I'm gonna bring in another I don't know what's 160 160 140 140 and 70 times three anyway that's about the haul so yeah you gotta work to make money sometimes you bring home 13 vacuum cleaners it's a lot of work so hey this is your silver hair stacker saying good luck god bless get out there buy some crap to sell on ebay make you lots of money buy you some silver gold or just go on a cruise <laughs> it's the end of 2018 Wishing y'all all the best for the 2019, and I'll see you later. Bye.